Reezy Resell. Follow the hustle. What's up guys, my name is Reezy. Welcome to the channel. On today's video, we're going garage sailing. So hopefully we can find some cool stuff. You can learn some stuff and make money. I'm here with Austin, Yo, my boy. All right, it looks like we got some books here. We only got about like seven or eight sales to go to today. We're at the first one, it's 8.15 in the morning. I got like 150 bucks in cash. We got scanners, Scout IQ database, but we're looking for some gems and I am super pumped. This is my first post COVID garage sale which is also gonna be interesting got my batman the animated series vintage mask let's go find some stuff man hello let me see are these the same ones it says celebrated crimes there's more of these harvard classics oh, oh thank you oh there's the rest of them okay. what is this 2004 what are those? they're too nice looking to be originals all right so let's holler at these all right so i have a small stack here and give it a look myself and let's see martori's vineyard oh this is crazy look so i can't find too much i can't find anything to separate all these but i found this one by itself sold for five bucks 10 days ago and then I could look this is another set but it's like look here's this title of the book here's the author's name and then it just says classics club like a reader's digest thing yeah it's like a set of books instead of you know like uh your parents would buy you like this set of books and they would have it in their house and it'd be like the only real books in the house besides here and there but this would be like 50 different stories 1942 these are like classic era stuff just don't know how to look this up i'm gonna ask hold on yeah those are the ones i want can you give me any information about this it's a book <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I guess, so I know that it's the Classics Club, and this is the title of the book, and this is the author's name, but aside from that and when it was published, I don't know what this set of books is called. What about these photographs? Oh, those are mine. They're very old. These are drawings, right? Not photographs? Yeah, and this is a photograph for sure. People used to dress fancy. I know. Celebrated crime. Eight volume set for... 37. Wow, yeah, it's just one though. Not a lot of sales. Two, three. All right, let's break out then. Do you know how many there is? 45. And... All right, cool. So 10 bucks. All right, I'm ready to deal. All right, well, how many bucks do you have? 44. How about 35? Yeah. I was thinking much closer to 10 bucks. Come on. I'm taking all this weight off you. Okay, this is for a dead woman's dog. <laughs> Dang, the guilt trip. How about. <laughs> How about 15? You're stretching me thin. How about 20? That's a super deal. All right, we'll do it. It's the first garage sale of the day. I better get you while you're hot. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You got this? This is your gym work for the day? See you guys. He's 17, he can endure it. Dude, crushed it. We got that tub of those bad boys. And then we got these books. This is not big profit. This is like 12 profit. But considering we only paid 20 for this, that subsidizes that. So this whole bin of books was basically eight bucks. And Austin, what did you say these are selling for? Yeah, the full set of that, which is 51, for $400 yesterday. Damn, hell yeah. So like $300 profit minimum. All right, so we crushed that garage sale. Hopefully the footage reflects the fact that we crushed it. So that set we got is an older book set. And if I was to give you guys a tip, obviously you have to scan everything, but don't just scan skip stuff because it doesn't have a barcode and don't skip stuff because it doesn't have an ISBN because it's super old. If it's old enough, you should be looking it up. If it's a set or encyclopedias or a storybook set or whatever, if it looks like it has a good amount of them, should be looking those up as well. And if they look old and nice, should be looking those up as well. So these books, when were they published, Austin? 1909 and 1910. We paid 20 for the set, but because the other paperbacks we got were worth money and be quick sellers, we really only paid about eight bucks for the set and it sells pretty frequently. We'll put a little screenshot here up on the screen where you can see some of the ones that have sold recently. Scroll it a little bit. It's been, what, 300, 400 selling pretty frequently. I'm actually pretty excited. It was cool to talk to the lady too because as you started talking to her, you started to learn a little bit more. She's talking about sets of books that have paperwork that come with them or that were mucho expensive that people purchased. And so it gave me the inkling that there might be some more than your average bear type books in that set. And so it was worth it to sit there and go through them and look them up by title and just to try and figure it out. I guarantee we left some profit behind with those Dumas celebrated crime set, especially if all eight were there. Also, there was another couple sets, but I couldn't figure out what they were. So if you know what they were, comment and let me know. There was that red set that was like Oppenheim, Martorni's Vineyard. That 
was one of the titles and one of the authors from that set, but I couldn't figure out the set title. And then there was a creamish colored 1950s published set with a red box on it, and I couldn't figure out that one either. Let's not forget those books with the golden gilded edges that were like reprints of older books, but they looked really nice with leather covers and nice tooling on the sides and boxing and whatnot. And I was collecting them and getting ready to look up the price, and then she just comes out and is like, oh yeah, you can't have those. Those aren't for sale. Some those aren't part of it. I'm oh, these ones? For those. No. Oh. All of these. All of these these right? are, yeah. See with the gold things? Yeah. They're mucho expensive. <laughs> And I was like, dang it! Low-key relief that I didn't have to look them up, but I actually bummed out because now I feel like they're probably worth a thou wow or more. You never know. That's the one that got away. Maybe we could have just like scooped those up real quick while she was like in the bathroom. Like, yeah, how much were these? Alright, bye. <laughs> what was this another one? This wasn't on the list. It's not on the list? No. The uncharted territories. Yeah. Let's hit it up. You wanna hit up these uncharted territories real Let's quick? Do it. I'm gonna go scan this real quick and you just sit here. Oh. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, let's check this out. What do we got here? How's it going? Oh, good morning. How are you doing? Good. We're hitting up our routes this morning. You weren't on the list. It's an uncharted territory. Ah. Awesome. You got a bunch of like backstage passes and stuff. Stage passes. I got some picks I'm putting out. Did you collect all these yourself? Oh, yes, sir. Wow. I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. What are these worth? Just depends. This is UFC stuff? Yeah. Nice. This is before the dates here. Uh, these are before it formed up like it is now. Oh, wow. But they come to the arena, and that was one of my home venues. Wow, cool. It's whatever you want to give me. Yeah, no, I have no uh, idea. I was just asking. Some, you can educate some me. Of the, yeah, some of the lesser values. What I used to do was the pick, the pass, and the t-shirt yeah. on eBay, 85 bucks. Oh, nice. But That's a nice a lot hustle. Of, a lot of work. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then, But some of these are old, right? These are pretty old, well, no? I go all the way back. I did something with those, probably mm. in my photo tubs. All right, cool, man. Well, not what I'm looking for, but good luck to you. I got this Star Trek pin. That's pretty dope. Oh, is this an old Tomorrowland pin? Yeah. What do you want for these pins? For right now. Buy both of them? I was thinking more like a buck. A buck for both of them? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah? Not a flea market, but yeah, go ahead. Cool. Thank you, man. I'm into Thanks. it. They're going to get appreciated. Well, that's the idea is to find a good home. I know I'm not going to be a minute, become a millionaire with my Saturday sidewalk sale, but... Dude, got to keep it moving, right? Sure. Thank awesome. you, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, Tell these are... friends, come on by. Personal, personal collection yeah. right here. Nothing really for flipping, but got a couple personals. And actually, without looking these up, these might be worth some money too. So we'll see. But we're on to the next one. Nothing. So I got these. He didn't have anything that I wanted to scoop for flipping specifically. A bunch of weird like backstage passes and stuff. But he had a couple pins. And this one caught my eye. I don't know if you guys can see this. If it'll focus. If not, I'll put a picture on the screen. This is a Tomorrowland pin. It's older though. They don't make the pins like that anymore at Disneyland. So that's really cool. Either way, it's going to be in my personal collection. And then I got this Star Trek pin. Yeah, there's no markings on the back, which is kind of weird. All right, do we have any intel on this sale? Multi-family yard sale. Doesn't say anything about books, but it's got some household things, clothing, nice. miscellaneous. Here we go. Books and CDs and stuff. Wonder Woman belt buckle. How are you guys doing? Oh, the 49ers jacket. Uh -huh. That's sweet. Oh, it's so stained though. I know. It needs to be cleaned really badly. Can you really get it clean though? It's a god I... still fine, so <laughs> I've not really attempted to try to get it clean. Captain Ohio from the football museum. Really? How did you acquire that? I visited a friend in South Bend, Indiana, and they, they drove out to Captain, and we bought a, I bought a jacket in 87. Wow. It looks like you loved it. Giants jacket too. Pretty dope. A nice little Columbia fleece. A football jacket, huh? Crazy. I never seen a football jacket like that before. Which college is that? Michigan State? Yep. How much do you guys want for the books? 50 cents Awesome. Thank you. Do you know if you have all the pieces for this clue? I would hope so. <laughs> the correct response is, I have no clue. Okay. Oh. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. All right, so this is what we're getting so far. Will you mind these for me? I'm gonna go to this other box. Oh, we scan. Sealed stuff. Let's check out the Blu-rays. Yeah, cool, we're ready to go. 
I think I'm gonna stick stick with these four books. Would you say fifty cents a piece, yeah. right? So yeah. two bucks. Yeah. Oh, my camping and Tahoe book. Oh well, there it goes, Tara. <laughs> Did you go to Tahoe? I lived up there. Oh, killer. Yeah. Awesome. You Thank you. What's the price on the dragon? Right now. Oh wow. Um, it's full pewter casted with Swarovski crystals. So it's Super cool, man. My wife would kill me if I bought it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Comps on that clue. I'm guessing those gold for oh, it's a Tower of Terror. Oh, I'm guessing 40, 50 bucks. 70. What? 70. For used. This month, multiple times. Austin just crushed me. Here's what Austin got. He thinks it might have all the pieces. 50 to 70 bucks. Comps, used, collectible. Tower of Terror. It's not even the Tower of Terror anymore. They took it down. So now it's called Guardians of the Galaxy. Can't believe you burned me on that one. <laughs> and then this is just a minor pickup. This was 50 cents a piece. So two bucks total. Two bucks, four bucks, eight bucks, 12 bucks. So we got like 25 bucks here in book profits. But this was the pickup of this spot for sure. Sure. Good job, bro. Boom. We are on to garage sale number four. Number one is still the winner, though. But number three wasn't too bad either. I mean, I only got like 20 bucks worth of profit from those four books, but you got potential, you know, 40 or 50. Even if you don't have all the pieces, and this is a good tip for you guys too, when you find board games that are worth good money and it looks like it has all the pieces, you can pretty much buy it, especially if the price is cheap, like one buck, two bucks, five bucks, and it resells for 40, 50, 70 bucks, like that rare Tower of Terror clue because the fact that it's worth that much means the pieces are worth a lot of money too and that's like a tip inside of a tip guys so say austin gets home counts all the pieces doesn't have all the pieces for the clue game you could go on ebay and buy the pieces to complete it right or you could sell it without all the complete pieces and it's going to sell for much less because it's not going to go to an end user it's going to go to someone like me or austin someone who's buying it at a discount price to then complete it all right guys here we go garage sale number four early bird gets a worm baby paintball action shim action oh sweet oh original mouseketeers hat ellen was this your hat that was my sister Oh wow, your sister's Ellen? That is amazing. This is so cool. It's in bad condition. Wow, this is her sister. That's so cool. Big box of postcards? What's the story with the postcards? We have an insanely huge collection of postcards and that's the beginning of the ones that my daughter doesn't want. They're from my mom's side of the family, so they go back to the 1890s. Wow. So, what piece are you talking about? It's the little bicycle. Yeah, it's an American girl hired Molly blue bike. Yeah, it looks like it's going for 50 plus 60 for shipping 56 plus 4 so 60 70 100 it looks like people are willing to pay about 100 very cute vintage scrapbooks i wonder what these are worth it's got to be worth something bunch of sheet music griffin shoe polishers this is like a vintage shoe polishing brush let me look that up real quick did you get the mickey ears i'm working on it <laughs> we're getting chased all right cool not worth what i thought funny seeing you here do you know danny's shoe bag uh-uh he's uh, doing an estate thing but he's not letting anyone in yet huh but he just said i just walked saw him he said yeah. there's a shitload of books where at about 10 30. i'm writing that down it's, thank uh, you La Selva. it's not open to the public right but uh if you say hey david rose sent me here you got nice. a lot of books hey, yeah there's a bunch of knickknacks and a lot of books cool yeah thank you ma'am so we're headed out the last garage sale of this neighborhood sale there was like four sales i scored a pretty complete risk game for two bucks this is like a 40 dollars or 50 dollars game new and it looks like everything's here so i don't think we'll have any trouble selling this for 25 to 30 bucks on ebay or amazon if not it's a good keeper for the house two bucks austin got a motorcycle gauge of some sort a tachometer or something stuff like that you should always scan car parts classic good old american made stuff that was 10 then you paid two bucks for that set of books which was possibly not a good one it's just a blind buy but he hopped on it all right this is what the back's looking like so far we got that main first thing we got this, the little book haul, stuff we got later, some packages we still need to drop off. Three and three eighths inch tachometer, 8,000 RPM, made by Autometer Pro Cycle brand. All right, on to the next one. All right, update. That reseller couple, friends of ours, Rose and Dave, they actually used to own a thrift store on 41st Avenue out here that we seen at the first sale we seen again. They just told us about a secret, unadvertised estate sale that supposedly has a lot of books. We're gonna go hit a yard sale in Soquel real quick, one or two, and then head back to Aptos to hit up this secret, unadvertised estate sale. Another one. Oh, you got some skate products? Oh, sick, you got a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Nice. What kind of prices are you looking for on oh, stuff? All our prices right here. Oh, cool. you look at you all organized. I know, right? 
So these are like all the Santa Cruz shirts, belts and socks. What do you want for the books over here? This is that stock up sale right now, baby. Oh, I guess they're not for sale. Oh, the books? Yeah, sorry. Oh, darn, man. You sure you don't want to part with them? All right, beanies, 10 bucks, hats, 12 bucks, SC hats, so that includes like the independent hats. Ooh, this is a sick Mark Gonzalez hat. What were the sports beanies? 10 bucks? These are originally 25 bucks. Not really like a score or anything, but like if you want, oh yeah, for sure. Or if it just like as gifts, you know what I mean? These are dope too, I've never seen these. Like she said, these are from the European line or something. All right, I gotta look around more. Dickies, two for 20. I've got at least one pair. My boy just hit me. He was like, yeah, I'll take those three beanies. Killer. All right. I'm going to start making a little pile. I just text my friend who's a diehard Niner fan, and he was like, I need all three of those. <laughs> yeah, the beanies. I don't know about the hats. I'm going to have to hit him through the hats again, too. What do you want for the socks? Two bucks. Nice. All right, I had to put the beanies back. I'm going to grab the one pair of shorts and then two hats. So 30. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Can I give you my number? Yeah. And then in case if, you know, if you happen to yeah. be like, hey, I really would love to yeah. sell this all to someone. Sure. I don't know what I could give you for it, you know, yeah. but just like, I mean, maybe it might just me being like, hey, I'll buy, you know, I'll come pick up 25 shirts off you for X price or whatever. I don't okay. know. Awesome. Well, thank you. Okay, cool. Save Wait, it and just, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. Let me know if, if you need an escape clause. You too. Bye. Didn't cop any flips today. I got a brand new pair of Dickie shorts myself, size 32. Brand new Sharks hat, seven and an eighth. New era. 49ers, seven and five eighths. New era for my boy Rob. All together, paid 30 bucks. Pretty good deal. Loki disappointed that I didn't even get to look up the books because dude said they weren't for sale. Before you start scanning stuff and making a pile, you should always ask people what the prices are because sometimes the prices are so high, it's just like unrealistic, just leave, you know? Like yeah. for example, with books, if I come up to the sale and I'm like, hey, what are the prices? And they're like, oh, half of the cover price. I'm just gonna turn around and get back in the car and leave. That's an unreasonable human that you can't bargain with, right? That's not someone who's motivated to sell. Or how about earlier in the sale when I was like, how, how much are the books, like 50 cents? And she goes, nah, a quarter. <laughs> I'm like, sweet. <laughs> so what I was trying to do was not pay a dollar by saying, asking 50 cents. And she was like, nah, a quarter. Obviously, know, she I'm wasn't cheap. the super savvy saleswoman. She should have just said, yeah, 50 cents. But anyways, ask before you invest your time. Or even worse, sometimes you make a pile of stuff. And then when they find out you're interested in it, then they want to charge you more because they know you're interested in it. And that's yeah. the worst. I think I just seen a Bulls jersey. I swear to God, I just seen a Bulls jersey, guys. Pumped. Let's get it. What do you want for these storybook records? I'll make you a deal if you, the more you buy. Okay. Boso approved. Walt Disney's Fantasia. Nice. I might have to look into these. What about the drums? I don't know anything about drums. I'm just curious. 125 for this striped one? Yeah, for everything, yeah. Okay, and this stack? Yeah, and that stack, yeah. And what about these ones? $40. Cool, all right. We'll see if the, the drummers I know reply. How much for the chairs? I'll do like $20 for all of them. Oh, nice. I really like these chairs. I rather like those chairs, 20 bucks for all of them in their nice color and not really about flipping, but yeah, I mean, or I guess you could probably flip them someone for a hundred bucks for the set of five chairs, but you have to hold them in your garage until then. What do you want for the docks? Those used, uh, do uh, 25. Even though the, it's all cracked up? Well, you know what they're worth, right? Well, around 125 new, let's do uh, 20. With the leather cracking, you know what I mean? 10. That's a good price. Yeah. Let's see what size they are. They're good condition except for the leather cracking. They must have just like sat in the sun or something. They all crack there. Yeah. Nice Adidas here. Oh, nice. This color. I think they're tens. They are in very nice very condition. Very nice condition. What do you want for these ones? The These ones in much nicer condition. Uh, what, would you say 60? Yeah, I only wore them once. They're 100 new. Okay. 1461. 11837. Okay, they call this the three eye. No, not gonna make it for us. Only gonna sell for like 60, 70 bucks. Damn, they are nice though. All right, I'm gonna call my buddy about these chairs, but I think that's it for us. All right. Thank you. So these chairs are Walden brand, and he said we can get the set of six for 20 bucks, which is a killer deal, but obviously not for shipping, but maybe Facebook Marketplace, eBay local pickup, something like that. But at this point, I'm probably not gonna grab it just because it would fill up the entire Audi and its furniture is not my forte, but it's definitely a flip that could have been made. So this sale that we're going to, we don't have any clue of what to expect. All we know is that it's unadvertised and we might not be able to get in if we don't say Dave and Rose sent us. <laughs> Shout out to Dave and Rose for tipping us off to the secret sale, but I guess they got a lot of books, so we're excited. Get
strangle to death as I mangle your flesh. Lights on, night con, which angle is best? I put you in the frame and let you hang with the rest. Call it photo finish as we diminish your last breath. And if the Sabbath is the day of the Lord, then my style of rap is like the way of the sword. Better sharpen your blade, I'm coming straight for your door. I see the devil in your